All right, today we're actually installing Upanor's AquaSafe fire suppression system. I'll show you the parts to this, how it works. So this is a T, a brass T. This is tight. You actually use uh, PEX A, which is an expansion PEX. And this will, if you tie onto this here and take off to your next head, this operates off of a fresh water system in your house. So it's not tied in with like your typical orange CPVC, which is a standalone system. This is called a multi-purpose system. And every time I flush the toilet, every time I go through and I run water through my sink, or anywhere else I'm tied in my fresh water, it circulates water through the system. And it allows you to, to not have to actually drain your system and you don't have any stagnation issues. And it's a lot better for even freeze protection because you have this hex A which expands and you also don't have to worry about the uh, potential of like CPVC which is a lot more brittle that can break. It doesn't expand if it does uh, in fact freeze. So this right here is where you connect your PEX. So your PEX takes off from here. This is the actual mounting bracket that goes on, the, on here. You anchor that off with three screws here. Tie that off. This goes to your truss. You're gonna measure down to where you actually have the right distance down to where uh, you're gonna finish out for your drywall. So we've already done that here. We've measured up about an inch and a half from the bottom of the truss to the bottom of this bracket. And you have you put this fitting on here, or this here is a sprinkler adapter. This goes on and it, it sandwiches this together and there's a little rings here this thing just slides on and pops on and it just stays there and you have to actually get a screwdriver to push that thing off it's so tight and kind of a pain to get off but that's what holds these things and kind of locks that in and then you have your heads here and this is the sprinkler head you'll get this is a um, this one here is i think it's rated for 162 degrees same thing for this cover plate the way these operate is this i'll, I'll put this thing together for you. this is actually a cover protection cover during construction and what happens is this the way these work is during a fire, this this is the cover that goes on this. So you this is what we call a concealed head. It's going to screw into that hole, and this will go up and push right up against the drywall or the wood or whatever's on your ceiling. So this, what ends up happening in a fire is you get heat, 162 degrees, the solder joints, if you can see those here, these come loose. This head falls off, so, or this cover falls off. It then releases this part of the sprinkler head, drops down, and then you end up having, there's a glass bulb up in here. What happens is at 162 degrees, this also will break the bulb, and then the water will start to flow out of this, and then it comes down and hits these. You can see the marks on that, like the little grooves. It'll hit that, and then that's a spray pattern that sprays the sprinkler out in a ramp. So there's different temperatures. This is a regular head. There's also intermediate heads. The intermediates are green, and this is a Senju head, and they, the, the green ones are 205 degrees. So you still, they're compatible with 162 degree cover, but the actual uh, head itself will not break the glass until you get to 205 degrees.